Because of individual differences in attitudes, personalities, values, interests, and experience, people often see the same thing in different ways. That's why social perceptions matter in leadership. By perception, we mean the process people use to make sense out of their surroundings by selecting, organizing, and interpreting information. Values and attitudes affect perceptions and vice versa. For example, a leader who greatly values ambition and career success may perceive a problem or a subordinate's mistake as an impediment to his or her own success, whereas a leader who values helpfulness and obedience might see it as a chance to help the subordinate improve or grow. Of particular concern for leaders are perceptual distortions, errors in perceptual judgment that arise from inaccuracies in perception. Some types of errors are so common that leaders should be familiar with them. These include stereotyping, halo effect, projection, and perceptual defense. Leaders who recognize these perceptual distortions can better adjust their perceptions to more closely match objective reality. Stereotyping is the tendency to assign an individual to a group or broad category, like female, black, elderly, or male, white, or disabled and then attribute widely held generalizations about that group to the individual. Stereotyping prevents people from truly knowing those they classify in this way. In addition, negative stereotypes prevent talented people from advancing in an organization and fully contributing their talents to an organization's success. The halo effect occurs when the perceiver develops an overall impression of a person or situation based on one characteristic, either favorable or unfavorable. In other words, a halo blinds the perceiver to other characteristics that should be used in generating a more complete assessment. The halo effect can play a significant role in performance appraisal. For example, a person with an outstanding attendance record may be assessed as responsible, industrious, and highly productive. Another person with less than average attendance may be assessed as a poor performer. Projection is the tendency of perceivers to see their own personal traits in other people. That is, they project their own needs, feelings, values, and attitudes into the judgment of others. A leader who is achievement-oriented might assume that subordinates are as well. This might cause the manager to restructure jobs to be less routine and more challenging without regard for employee actual satisfaction. The best safeguards against errors based on projection are self-awareness and empathy. Perceptual defense is the tendency of perceivers to protect themselves against ideas, objects, or people that are threatening. People perceive things that are satisfying and pleasant, but tend to disregard things that are disturbing and unpleasant. In essence, people develop blind spots in the perceptual process so that negative sensory data do not hurt them. As people organize what they perceive, they often draw conclusions based on their perception. Attributions in leadership are judgments about what caused an event or behavior, something about a person or something about a situation. For example, many people attribute the success or failure of an organization to the top leader, when in reality, there may be many factors that contribute to organizational performance. People also make attributions or judgments as a way to understand what caused their own or another person's behavior. An internal attribution says characteristics of the person led to the behavior, like my subordinate missed the deadline because he's lazy and incompetent. An external attribution says something about the situation caused the person's behavior, such as my subordinate missed the deadline because he didn't have the team support and resources that he needed. Attributions are important because they help people decide how to handle a situation. In the case of a subordinate missing a deadline, a leader who blames the mistake on the employee's personal characteristics might reprimand the person or, more effectively, provide additional training and direction. A leader who blames the mistake on an external factor will try to prevent such situations in the future, such as making sure team members have all the resources they need, providing support to remove obstacles, and ensuring that deadlines are realistic. People tend to have biases that they apply when making attributions. When evaluating others, many people underestimate the influence of external factors and overestimate the influence of internal factors. This tendency is called the fundamental attribution error. Another bias that distorts attributions involves attributions that we make about our own behavior. 
Leaders tend to overestimate the contribution of internal factors to their success and overestimate the contribution of external factors to their failures. This tendency, called the self-serving bias, means that people give themselves too much credit for what they do well and give external forces too much blame when they fail. Thus, if a leader's subordinates say she doesn't listen well enough, and the leader thinks subordinates don't communicate well enough, the truth may actually lie somewhere between. All in all, leaders must be able to explain attributions and recognize how perception affects the leader-follower relationship.